Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB flash drive for Mac OS 10.13 High Sierra. And I'm going to create that flash drive and I'm going to show you how to go in, download the High Sierra image, how to format the flash drive and how to get that image onto the flash drive. So let's jump in and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so the first thing you need to have is at least an 8 gigabyte flash drive in order to create your Mac OS 10.13 High Sierra bootable flash drive. Now, I'm using a 32 gig one. It doesn't matter as long as it's at least 8 gigs. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this flash drive and I'm going to put it directly in the computer. Okay. So now that I've put that flash drive in the computer, it's already an installer, but I need to go ahead and format it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the spotlight at the top right corner of the screen, and I'm going to type in Disk Utility. And I'm going to open up Disk Utility, and when that opens up, you can see there is my flash drive right there. It's a 32 gig. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this my volume. And it doesn't matter what the format and the scheme is. But I'm going to leave it as OS 10 extended for the format. And I'm going to leave it as GUID partition map for the scheme. And I'm going to click erase. Now this will take just a few minutes for it to unmount it format it, and then remount it. But as soon as it does, we'll pick right back up and go ahead and finish creating the rest of the flash drive. Okay, so it finished erasing the flash drive. And so now I'm going to go ahead and click done. And that flash drive is already mounted, even though you don't see it on the desktop, it is mounted to this computer. So we're ready to create our bootable flash drive of Mac OS 10.13. The only thing left we have to do is download the Mac OS 10.13 from Apple. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Firefox or whatever browser you prefer. And then we're going to go to Google and we're going to search for download old Mac OS versions. And then right here, the very first result is how to download and install Mac OS. If you click on that, it'll give you a link, if you scroll down, that you can download any version of Mac OS that you want from the App Store. So we're going to click on High Sierra 10.13. And it's going to open up in the App Store, and we're going to click Open Link. Now here you will either have a button that says open or download. I've already downloaded it, but if you had that button that said download, just click on it and as soon as it finishes, it'll automatically try to open the installer for you. I don't need to because I already have it in the applications folder. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and skip this step. If you need to download it, go ahead and click the download button, wait for that to finish, and then you can pick up right with the video where I'm about to go. So here I'm going to go ahead and close this window. And I'm going to close Firefox. And now we're going to go and we're going to open up the terminal. So what you're going to do is you're going to click up here in the top right corner in the spotlight. Type in terminal. And you're going to open up that top result. Now here what you want to do is you want to type in this command. You want to type in sudo space forward slash applications forward slash install backslash space Mac capital O capital S backslash space capital H lowercase I G H backslash space capital S I E RRA period app forward slash contents forward slash resources forward slash create install media 
and then you want to put a space and you want to put dash dash and then you want to put volume and then a space and then forward slash and then you want to put volumes and then forward slash my volume and if you'll notice it's going to it's going to use that my volume which is your flash drive to create the install media for high sierra now, I'm going to include a link for all this down in the description for you, so you don't have to type that whole thing. If you just want to copy it, and then once you're inside Terminal, you can go to Edit, and you can just paste it right in there. And then, the only other thing we have to do is we have to put the password for this computer. So give me just one second, I'm going to put it in, and then I'm going to hit Enter. Okay, now I'm pressing Enter. And then it wants me to go ahead and tell it to continue because it's going to erase the volume and it's going to set it up to be an install High Sierra volume. So I'm going to put yes and I'm going to put enter. Now it's erasing that disk and then it's going to copy everything onto that disk. So let's give it just a few minutes and let that finish. Now, I wanted to mention one other thing. Some people have mentioned that they get an error when they're trying to do this, when it goes and tries to erase the disk. If that happens to you and it won't erase, all you have to do is restart the computer and then go through this process again. You don't have to re-download the High Sierra installer from Apple again. Just restart the terminal commands. And it should erase at that point. Because if you'll notice, um, for mine it finished, but I've had that happen before even on this computer where it won't format the drive or it won't erase the disk. But if you restart the computer, it will erase the disk. And then it'll continue on to copy the installer files. So just a tidbit of information for you that would be helpful in case you encounter that error message. One other tidbit of information that I wanted to share with you that I thought would be helpful is if you have a computer, and most of the Macs nowadays have USB 3.0 on them, or newer, they may even have 3.1 or 3.2, um, might be USB-C, but if you have a flash drive that is USB 3 compatible, it'll copy much, much quicker than an older, slower USB 1 or USB 2 flash drive will because it can copy at a faster rate than those older USB 1 or USB 2 flash drives can. So when you're buying a flash drive to do this, make sure it's a USB 3. I mean, almost all the flash drives now are, but just in case you run across one that's really, really cheap, it may still be USB 2.0. Just thought I'd let you know that. Great, so it took it a little while to finish, but if you do buy a flash drive, just make sure it's at least USB 3.0. And if you happen to want to buy a big pack of them, like a three, four, or five pack, please make sure it's USB 3.0. A lot of times they'll bundle them together to give you a cheaper price, but they'll actually be USB 2.0, which makes them much, much slower when it's copying all the files onto the flash drive. So now that we've got, and as you can see on the desktop computer, we've got the install macOS High Sierra flash drive created, which is bootable. The only other thing you would want to do is you would want to try to boot your Mac computer to it and make sure it works. But this has been created. It's ready to go. So you have it if you ever need it. Thanks so much, everybody. I hope that was helpful on how you could create your Mac OS 10.13 High Sierra bootable flash drive so that you can reinstall your operating system if you need to, or maybe you just want to have a backup just in case you ever need it. But if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'd be more than happy to get back to you and help you with any concerns or issues that you run into. And until next time, as always, if you can, please like and subscribe so that I can keep putting up all these great videos for you. Thanks so much, everybody. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.